stage. Just two hours from now, an Valley woman will be sentenced for a horrific crime. Angela Simpson confessed to murdering and dismembering a man in a wheelchair, then dumping his body in a trash can and attempting to burn the evidence. As ABC 15's Brian McElhatton explains, friends of the victim say they just want justice. Terry Neely lost his life in a way only Hollywood could conjure. His good friend still reeling three years later. I felt really bad when I heard what happened to him, and I was angry. I killed Terry. Angela Simpson, seen here in this police interview footage, confessed to the horrific crime. In her confession, Simpson said she lured Neely to this apartment with the promise of sex, only to confine him and slowly torture him over three days. And beating him with various objects until he was unconscious. Over a candy bar and a soft drink, Simpson continues the confession, describing how she drove a three-inch nail into Neely's skull, but not before bashing him with a tire iron. She then ripped his torso apart, setting the chopped remains ablaze in a nearby dumpster. Meanwhile, back at home, Neely's good friend Shannon Spann admits he's so angry by the heinous crime, he hasn't bothered to follow the trial. I think um, the, the trial is a waste she admitted to what she had done, and I don't believe she deserved a trial. It's a waste of resources, a waste of money to, to give somebody that, that courtesy, especially when she came off so cruel and so, so callous about it, like she just didn't care at all. Simpson will be sentenced for her crime at 8.30 this morning in Superior Court. Brian McElhatton, ABC 15.